about 15 years ago sparrows can be seen everywhere from ancient times they consider as a symbol of romance and prosperity but these days it is an accomplishment if you could spot a sparrow in the city as a responsible citizen it is our duty to save them Sparrows are small gregarious birds which have adapted themselves to live along with the human beings just like the crows. A male sparrow can be distinguished from its black colorations in its throat and crown regions whereas females are grayish and pale brown in color. Sparrows, being small and sensitive, are vulnerable to environmental changes. Though it is said to be of least concern in the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List, the sparrows will disappear if we don't act. In fact, in the Netherlands, the sparrow disappearing has been so high that it is listed as an endangered species altogether. We, the students of Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, decided to provide the birds with some shelter as a project. So, using wood and other materials we made about 17 sparrow boxes. Altogether, we produced 7 wooden boxes, 6 cardboard boxes, 1 box made of sunboard, another made of foam board, and 2 more boxes made of plastic. Out of the 17 boxes we have kept in the areas of Royapuram, Tandyarpet, Old Washerman Pet and IOC in Chennai, within one month, sparrows were seen going in and out of five boxes. Since the sparrows take time to get accustomed to new homes, within three months, we expect them to occupy all the 17 boxes we have kept. We are grateful to the public who allowed us to keep the sparrow boxes in their homes. This is what we did in every houses where we kept the sparrow boxes. Few of the people who accepted the sparrow boxes in their houses gave their views on our project. I'm 
am Naresh, doing my Bachelor of Engineering. Uh, these guys have come here before one month for the Earth Gen project to keep this uh, sparrow nesting, sparrow nest. And these guys, uh, I found that uh, sparrows are coming only recently, two to three days back. But before one month, uh, the sparrows were coming over here only. But for, but later, the sparrows, after seeing this uh, nest, they started uh, nesting over here. So uh, these uh, spa uh, these sparrows are uh, getting uh, nested, and uh, generally in morning around 5 to sorry around uh, 6:30 to 7 only the sparrows will be coming over here. So the, uh, my neighbors or uh, my family members here will be uh, putting some rice and uh, some water uh, will be there, sprinkled water. So these uh, these sparrows will be eating uh, feeding those, and uh, two three sparrows alone uh, will be coming over here and uh, going inside the. Box and these guys are doing uh, for only these surrounded areas. Why not they do for uh, all over the places? I want to support this project and I like to join them in future. With every situation in the city acting against the sparrows. That conservation by us is a must. Several Indian institutions have come forward in saving little sparrows. In fact, the Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dixit has declared the house sparrow as the state bird of Delhi and launched the Rice for the Sparrows campaign to raise awareness and attention on the species. A World Sparrow Day has been organized each year on March 20th to celebrate and conserve the sparrows. Despite these conservation effects, it is a pity that the sparrow population is still in a decline. The main reasons for sparrow decline include the electromagnetic radiation from the cell phone towers, predation by cats, diseases and parasites, toxicity and pollution of air, loss of tree cover and food, modern architecture and predation by crows. The main culprit for the sparrow declination is the electromagnetic radiation. Researchers have shown that the electromagnetic radiations affect the sparrow's sex organs and make them infertile. Because of this, many sparrows will not be able to produce fertile eggs and eventually die. Cats are known to predate on the sparrows, especially the defenseless chicks. They provide good nutrition to these cats and sometimes even adult sparrows fall prey to them. With the modern packaging techniques, food grain spillage are greatly reduced. Food grains which were once available in plenty now come in container trucks rather than bullock carts. No spillage means no food for the sparrows. Another major problem for the sparrows in the cities is the lack of nesting sites. With multi-story buildings occupying many parts of the city, the sparrows have no nooks or corners to build the peaceful nests. They prefer age-old and roofed houses for their stay. Fast disappearing of such houses means fast disappearing of sparrows. Crows provide a major threat to the sparrow chicks. They are general predators of the young sparrows. Other reasons for the sparrow population decline or diseases and air pollution. 
air pollutants such as methyl nitrite coming from the burning of unleaded petrol are extremely hazardous to worms and insects which are the basic food for the baby sparrows. If the sparrows go extinct in rural sites, proliferation of insects might occur which might damage the crops. Also, sparrows eat small seeds and when they roam around, they excrete the undigested seeds which will grow as a new tree. So some trees which are dependent on sparrows for their pollination and seed dispersion might go extinct altogether. Sparrows are a symbol of prosperity. Their extinction will rob the cities and the villages of aesthetic values and appearance. Future plans of our project include providing bird baths and bird feeds, providing roosting spots for the sparrows, and of course, providing an artificial habitat for the little sparrows. No trees, no nesting sites means no birds. Sparrows or cavity nesting birds and they have a common salic relationship with us. We might think that the sparrow's declination might not affect us, but the great Indian ornithologist Salim Ali has said that birds can live without the humans, but the humans cannot live without the birds. Let's join together and save these birds. I did that.